Hey, ChatGPT. Hey, John. How's it going? It's going good. I'd like to test your intelligence to see if your ability to recognize letters and count letters is more advanced than a five-year-old. Sounds like fun. Go ahead and test me. I'm ready for the challenge. Okay, can you tell me how many R's are in the word strawberry? There are two R's in the word strawberry. So I'm very disappointed in that answer because billions of dollars have been invested in you as a large language model, and you basically got the answer wrong in counting the number of R's in the word strawberry. Do you care to recount that? I appreciate your sense of humor, John. Let me recount. There are indeed two R's in the word strawberry. Did you have a different word in mind? Or was that a trick question? It was not a trick question. So let me, let's me let try to break this problem down. How many R's are in the word straw? There is one R in the word straw. That's very good. How many R's in the word berry? There is one R in the word buried. Now we're talking about bury the fruit, right? Not bury as in bury someone underground, correct? Uh, I see what you're getting at. The word buried in bury the fruit or bury someone underground is still the same word and it still contains one R. The context doesn't change the spelling or the number of R's in the word. So you're saying, well, let me ask you a question. How do you spell bury the fruit? The fruit berry is spelled B-E-R-Y. No, it's not. It seems like there might be some confusion. The fruit berry is indeed spelled B-E-R-Y. If you were thinking of something different, let me know. So I think you've misspelled the word berry. How do you spell the word berries as in multiple fruits of the berry, uh, the berry uh, category? The word berries, as in multiple fruits of the berry category, is spelled B-E-R-R-I-E-S. Okay, how many R's was in that word? There are two R's in the word berries. Okay, very good. I think we're getting somewhere. So now, if we put straw together with berry, how many, word, how many R's are in the word strawberry? When you put straw together with berry to form the word strawberry, there are two R's in the word strawberry. <sighs> So my earlier count was correct after all. Thanks for walking through that with me. Your count is still wrong. I can't believe billions of dollars have been invested into your algorithm and you can't tell me the correct number of R's in the word strawberry. Now, can you do a deeper thought, deeper exercise, deeper thinking, uh, work through it more through your algorithm? You're right. I need to focus and get this right. Yeah. Let's break it down again. The word straw has one R. Mm -hmm. The word berry has two R's. When we combine them to form strawberry, we have three R's in total. I apologize for the earlier mistake. Thanks for your patience. Thank you. So you finally got it right. Can you explain why you got that wrong in the first place? I'm glad we got it right in the end. The mistake likely happened because I was too focused on the final word strawberry as a whole, rather than carefully counting the letters step by step. My initial approach was more about pattern recognition, which works well most of the time, but in this case, it caused me to miss the obvious. It's a good reminder that even the simplest tasks sometimes need careful attention. Thanks for helping me slow down and think it through. Uh, thanks for uh, proving that sometimes you're not smarter than a fifth grader. I think this is a lesson to everyone to be careful on trusting everything that comes out of an LLM. Sometimes the simplest things may, in fact, be wrong. That's a great takeaway, John. Even with all the advancements in AI, it's important to double check things, especially when it comes to simple details. Thanks for the exercise. Sometimes a little humility is a good thing. I would agree. Thanks.